We put 1,500 fish in. Did you guys put any browns in here? Yeah, rainbows, brookies, and uh, I think maybe a dozen palominos. There we go, fish on. There we go, nice fish. We're gonna bite right away. Holy smokes. We came back for it, got him. Fish on, another one for the leader. What's up YouTube, Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is November 29th. So a couple days ago, there was a super secret trout stock. They stock a variety of trout. So today we have the opportunity to catch ourselves some brown trout, some rainbow trout, and even some brook trout. Can we get the trifecta today? That is the challenge. It should be a good episode. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, please scroll down below. Hit that thumbs up button. While you're down there, leave me a comment. Let me know what you did or did not like about this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel. What the heck are you waiting for? Do that now. Easter PA Fishing here. You know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. Big rig yeah. on the scene, everybody. I'm back from the dead. He's back. The resurrection. Starting it out the first hole here. Hopefully we're going to catch some fish. Not going to disclose today's location, even though it's not really too secret. I just don't want a whole bunch of people blowing it up. It's looking shallow and desolate. Dude, wouldn't it be great if it just started snowing? Super picturesque, late fall fishing or early winter, whatever you want to call it. Creeping up on one of my favorite holes at this awesome little creek. Now, a lot of people say that Pennsylvania fishing sucks. And a lot of times, don't get me wrong, it does. But there is still some pretty awesome fishing year round. If you know where to look, hopefully there's something hanging out here. Now, we've had a ton of flooding this year in Pennsylvania. So a lot of these smaller creeks are a little bit blown out. Some of the deeper holes are a little different than they used to be. But hopefully there's still some trout hanging here. Yeah, I don't know, man. But dude, I'm not seeing anything here. Yeah, there's a lot of scum on the bottom. There's like no hole here anymore. I'm throwing on a spinner. So last year, this is actually one of my favorite spots to fish, but it looks like this year, this hole just got completely blown out. There's really not much here. Kind of casting at nothing. Let's see what Big Rig's doing. Looks like Big's found some fish. Let's see if we can come over here and steal them from him. <laughs> Sorry about your trout, bud. Oh man. Got them stirred up. Let me know when you catch one. Where are these fish at? What's that? Oh man. Oh, we got a bite. It's like a whole bunch of trout right out there in front of us. None of them want to bite a thing though. These fish were just stocked a couple days ago, so they are a little hard to catch this time of year. Heading back downstream. Gonna hit up a couple holes that are hopefully a little promising. A little more promising than what we've hit so far today. Doesn't seem like these fish are too active yet. Have seen quite a few fish, but they just aren't biting. Let's keep fishing. Hopefully we're gonna catch something. I used to smack trout on white bread when I was a kid and have all those fancy rooster tail spanners, rapala jerk baits. Rapula. This is pitiful. Otter's eating all the trout. Oh man. All right. Nice one more and we're even. I got two spills, you have one. Well, everybody, unfortunately, Big Rig and myself did get skunk last time we were here. So this is day number two. Can we get it done today? Can we catch a trout? I just saw one jump out there. Hopefully today is gonna be the day we start smacking them. You know, when those fish are freshly stocked, sometimes it takes them a little to bite. They aren't really acclimated to the water that they're in. They're, you know, used to living in a swimming pool. So sometimes you just gotta let them marinate a little bit. Gotta give them some time. And eventually they will be ready to bite. Hopefully today is the day. Got myself a very tiny little trout magnet tied on fishing it on a medium powered cast king centron rod little size 10 abu garcia silver max pro reel have it all spooled up with some four pound monofilament line and a six foot long fluorocarbon leader you want to make sure you guys have that leader on there so the fish don't see the line we got some fish over here you can see them out there in the water Let's see if we can get one to hit Super annoying little fish. There we go. Fish on. Oh man, he came off. Well, that would have been the first one. Well, guys, I've been sitting at this one spot for about 10 to 15 minutes now, casting at these super frustrating little trout. So I'm actually cheating, throwing on a tiny little bit of bread. Let's see if we can catch a trout on some white bread. 
So cool story. When I was about nine, 10 years old, my parents used to drop me off at this local pond every day, you know, back in the day when you really didn't have to worry about, you know, being kidnapped or stuff like that. And I used to fish with bread for stock trout. I'm telling you guys, I used to catch at least 15 to 20 trout a day on white bread. It's definitely a good way to catch them. Not the most sportsmanlike way to catch them, but it is definitely very effective. There we go, nice fish. Alrighty, well, trout two, Eastern PA fishing zero. Well, it seems that I just can't trick these fish. Had a couple on there, but they did just come off. I think this is gonna be our last cast in this spot before we move. Might throw a lure back on. I don't know if I should throw a spinner. Probably is not gonna work. It has been tough at this little creek this year, guys. New spot, can we get it done here? Alrighty, day number three out here for one video. So obviously I did get skunked the last few times I came here. Today, we are hoping to get a little vengeance. Did get a little rain last night, so the water is up. Hopefully we're gonna catch some trout today. Man, did you guys see that? Are these trout spawning right now? You gotta be kidding me. They just stocked these fish and it is prime spawning season. What the heck? Yo, these fish are definitely spawning. These freshly stocked fish are spawning. Well, if these fish are in here spawning, it means it's gonna be real hard to get a bite. That might explain a few things. You see them swirling in there? Yeah. They're spawning. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what that's why they're not biting too that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a male and a female over there. Making the nest. Yep. I'll be If I'm with we put fifteen hundred fish in. I suck the palm water. Oh man. <laughs> I went, my boots were full. I pulled them off. I'm wet. Oh, you got the bad frog togs too? I like these. Once they're done, you can cut them into boots. Yeah, they're definitely they're... spawning out there. Which trout do you think spawning? The brook trout? Yeah. Yeah, definitely the brooks. Yeah. Did you guys put any browns in here? Yeah. Browns, oh. rainbows, brookies, and I think maybe a dozen palominos. I'm a manager of the club. Oh, really? So I tell them how many fish go out spread them out because it's only 1500 but we got a lot of fish for this spring take care buddy you too sir well there you guys have it that was actually a really cool interaction that guy kind of snuck up on me almost spooked me a little bit there but he is one of the managers of the club that actually stocks this place they put 1500 fish in here so they're definitely in here he told me that they did stock some of the holes that i haven't been to yet a little better than some of the ones up here i need to get a fish in the bag i need a score now call it desperate call it what you want i am going to fish with the trout magnet a little bit but if i don't catch anything on that we are going to get a little corny and hopefully catch ourselves the first trout from this creek in over a year i think we're about to get corny guys i haven't fished for trout with corn in over six or seven years it has been quite some time even though i do not promote that type of trout fishing i need to get some revenge on these fish for real don't let anyone ever tell you trout fishing is easy when they refuse to bite and they're spawning like we saw at the first spot it can take a long time before you can dial them in we're about to get corny i can't take it any longer sometimes you just gotta let the fish marinate cheap excuse but let's hit up this corn this is not the best can opener. here this thing is rusty but it's working pour out some of that juice now i usually don't ever fish with bait on my channel most of the time i just use lures but i have to tell you guys i'm kind of excited to fish with corn right now baited all the way up like that good hook exposure now i feel like a little bit of a cheater but what the heck Alrighty, guys this is definitely a wrap on the upstream portion of this creek I'm gonna head back to my vehicle now and we're gonna head way 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 downstream might hit a couple holes on the way we're gonna make it happen today guys my will is strong drank a lot of coffee today so i got some energy let's catch some fish oh, we're gonna fight right away holy smokes Tighten this drag a little bit. That is a nice fish. Real nice fish. And hopefully we can land this one. Be the first one from this creek in over a year. And he smoked that thing as soon as it hit the water. Yes. Nice 
big brownie nice big brown trout there we go we finally got one that is a nice fish i am actually going to take this guy for food he's going to be my lunch today so i'm going to dispatch him off camera and we're going to keep on fishing there we go nice fresh stocked fish that is going to be a tasty little lunch for us lunch has been secured i usually do take a couple trout when i'm harvesting but this one is pretty husky should make a pretty nice meal out of this dude alone so i think the rest we are going to catch and release by the way always make sure you follow your local rules and regulations when you're trout fishing this time of year if you are going to harvest the limit in pennsylvania is three for the day well this is definitely not the way i planned on catching them but sometimes the fish literally will not eat lures let's get another cast out there generally in the same area See if there's anything else hanging around for us. There's another one. Oh man, what the heck? Is he on there? He's still freaking on there. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he started running right towards us. There we go, number two, if we can land him. Keep our line low. Don't want him to break the surface. He's got us wrapped around this log real good. Oh, and he's freaking foul hooked. Oh, there he goes. He came off. Man, that guy foul hooked himself right in the dorsal fin. That was ridiculous. As of now, we are finally making our way to hopefully the best spot of these three days. We are at about half of our GoPro charge right now. So we still do have some time to fish, but it is crunch time. Hopefully we're gonna get some more fish in the bag. I think I might actually take another one, even though I said I was just trying to take one. All this walking and talking is getting me a little hungry. And we finally made it to the deepest, the best, and the most well-stocked hole at this creek. Hoping it's just not a one and done day. I have definitely put in the work at this creek. Three days and only one fish so far. Looking for a little bit of a bigger payoff. Now, as an angler that usually always fishes lures, I always find it so hard to fish bait and to just sit there and wait. But sometimes that is the name of the game. Oh, we're getting a bite. Oh, I think he might've dropped it. And no, we came back for it, got him fish on what the heck do we have here it does not feel like a trout oh it is a little trout a little rainbow I guess we're gonna take this guy too it is a decent bow I ah, swallowed it yeah you are gonna be lunch part two pretty little bow usually don't see him with these type of colors real nice blue to him don't know if you guys can see that hope the lighting is good there we go, finally number two. This guy is also going on the leader. We've got ourselves a beautiful brown and we have ourselves a beautiful rainbow trout. Two in the bag. All right guys, so I've been out fishing for about four hours now. I've been at this spot for about an hour and a half. Waiting on Big Rig to show up. We are getting pretty low on GoPro charge. We have about 20% left. So I'm gonna try to conserve this battery. I will turn the camera off and on as I catch fish. Well, I wasn't recording and didn't even realize it. Got another one on here. Another bow. Third fish for the day, if we can land them. Hopefully this guy's on the lip. I don't want to keep another one. Alrighty, there we go. Number three for the day. Little guy. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this one back. He did engulf it a little bit. This guy swallowed it way too deep. There's no way to save him. Another one for the leader. There you have it. We have got our Pennsylvania fall limit for the day. Three trout. That is what we're gonna be taking home for dinner tonight. Finally made it happen, guys. Three days of coming to this spot. No luck the first two days. Finally managed to catch one on the corn and we followed through using the corn the rest of the day. We've got our limit. I am gonna fish for a little bit longer, but I'm going to catch and release everything that I catch. Big rig on the scene, everybody. He brought some minners. Take a peek at these minners. I probably should not be using any of these guys since I did catch my limit, but Chris didn't catch his. Ooh, man, those are looking juicy. Some nice little minners. Gotta help Chris catch his limit here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh man, lost that one. Dude, I wish we had a crappie spot. You know how much fun that would be? Smacking crappies here at the Manion Canal. Just freshly stocked with trout. Better give these guys a dunkaroo. Starting to stiffen up on me. Gotta keep the meat fresh. Yo, where's that jerky at? I gotta sample this, this venison jerky. Go for a nice dark beer. Nice dark beer. I did the whole white claw thing for like a few months in the summer. So this one trout that I harvested, it was straight pooping up power bait. So they're eating something down there. Throwing on a very tiny little one eighth of an ounce rooster tail. 
the remaining time that we have today. Maybe we will catch one more. Maybe we won't. <laughs>